Okay, so this will go with the first task sheet for the brakes, chapter 33. So to identify whether you have hydraulic or air brakes, you'll have a reservoir with fluid in it. You'll have small steel lines coming off, one being primary, which is normally closest to the firewall, secondary being farthest from the firewall, so small steel lines coming off of a master cylinder with a reservoir obviously indicates that it is hydraulic brakes. Okay. So another way to identify is down here at the wheel on this little Freightliner truck. It has a hydraulic brake caliper. You can see the hydraulic line that came off the front section of that splits and goes to each front wheel. So that's how we identify that this has hydraulic brakes. It has a Hydro Boost type booster here, which is tied into the power steering with the power steering pump. So it's pretty common for a diesel engine, especially medium duty, to have a booster that is hydraulically boosted rather than vacuum, which is normally more of a gasoline powered vehicle. So well, there's some exceptions to that, but anyway, a little small booster here in the back of the master cylinder with the reservoir. Obviously you can look and see, has some electrical connections here for low brake fluid. Has one here for the hydraulic pressure itself, identified by small steel lines. That's how you identify hydraulic brakes. Another way to identify hydraulic brakes would be <clears throat> the part brake for hydraulic brakes is normally a lever or foot operated. It uh, runs off of a cable. So the cable is going to go down and either go to part of the hydraulic brake mechanism to wedge the brakes, whether it be drum brakes or disc brakes. Or in the case of this little freight liner here, it's a drive shaft operated brake. So on the back of the transmission, you have a little brake drum here. That cable I just showed you off the lever runs here. Actually locks the drive shaft so that the differential cannot rotate. If the drive shaft can't rotate, then the vehicle can't roll as long as both wheels are on the ground, so that designates it being hydraulic brakes as well because it has a cable-operated parking brake.